Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I had to start this video over. My heater, I turned it down as low as I thought I should so that it wouldn't come on and it came on anyway. Okay, so let's try this again. All right, so what I'm doing today, this is my first time trying the Vaseline method. I already have Vaseline on my fingers. Okay, and the whole point is that if you get any product on your finger is hopefully it will wipe off or it'll come off when you wash your hands at the end. I saw one video done with the dip method and I couldn't find it. So I guess if you guys do a search, I might be the only video that you find. So I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. Okay, but I'm trying. Um, I did see a lot of videos of Vaseline method with regular fingernail polish, but that's not what I'm doing today. Okay, so also this is my first time doing ombre. Um, I picked three colors. They're all not polished products. Okay, so this is a really pretty bright yellow. It's um, G8 and it's Glow Me The Money. Very pretty bright yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. I want to dump my um, powder out. And you know what? It might be better if I just show you guys from the top, right? Okay, so also I'm using, I think it's with an M. It should be... Um, Marcos G21. So all of their glow powders have a G in front of them. And this is the color. It's a really pretty blue. And not all the colors glow the color that the, the powder is. Okay, so um, like I said, my first video that you guys didn't even see. For some reason, I can't talk today. So um, this one is $200 dates. And it is G30. And it's a really pretty bright pink. Okay, so at the end of the video, we're gonna see what colors do they glow. And then also let me check the battery on my lamp because I've been turning it off in between to try and save power. It's already down to, oh my gosh, two bars, you guys. Okay, so we might have to plug this up. Okay, I do have my phone plugged up too because I didn't want my video to just stop in the middle. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably move this out of the way and get the, um, get the little plug for it. All right, so I'm gonna do two colors of ombre on one finger, or actually two fingers, and then three on the middle finger. So let's see how this works. Um, also, let's see my other first. I'm going to try on the, how do you say that? I'll say enclosing. On the enclosing layer of powder, the clear powder that you're supposed to put on top when you finish doing all your color layers, I'm going to try to put these hearts underneath on the solid colors, underneath the clear powder before I do the encapsulate. And that's the word I, I was thinking of. I think I'm still using the wrong word, um, maybe not. So we're gonna see how that works as well. Okay, so this is my first for a lot of stuff. Okay, so um, if you wanna know what do you do on the first two layers of your clear powder, then I would say watch my other video. But I do wanna say this, on the second layer of clear powder, you're supposed to go from the cuticle to the tip of your nail, put the powder on with your spoon, okay? And I do have my spoons labeled. I don't think you guys will be able to see that, but they are labeled for different colors. And you sprinkle on the clear powder on all five fingers, okay? Don't tap off too much because it'll make it kind of patchy. You'll be able to see the uh, base coat underneath. That's what I'm using to uh, do the dip method. And then you put your hand in the lamp for 60 seconds, let it cure and then take it out and dust it all off. And when you do your color layers, you do the same thing. You do all your color, even if you're gonna do ombre, and then you put your hand in the lamp for 60 seconds and then you dust it off. Okay, so I don't think that's gonna work because I think one color is gonna fall into the other. So I'm gonna try something. We're gonna flash cure for 10 seconds. So like I said, my um, clear layer is already on here. So this one I wanted to do uh, pink and yellow. I'm gonna try to do just the part of the nail that I want to sprinkle the powder on. And I'm gonna to have to use my, move my yellow spoon out of the way. And like I said, super messy. So I do have another paper towel when I do this other hand, which I'm gonna do off camera. Okay, so I'm gonna try and see what happens. And if I don't like this, I'm just gonna to have to tap my fingers off on paper, the paper towel. Okay, so let's see. When you do the clear coat, I'm gonna tell you it's so pretty that you almost don't wanna put anything else on there. But unless you're gonna paint them, you kind of don't have a choice. And I will say that if I was gonna paint them, let's see, this one is gonna have three colors, right? So I'm only gonna do a third of the nail here. 
If I was going to paint them and not do color powder, I would do probably three, maybe four layers of the clear powder because I like my nails thick. I know some people say that that doesn't really help with the um, breakage and stuff like that, but I've noticed that for me personally, the thicker the powder is, the less I break my nails. So there has to be some truth to that, even if it's not completely true. And what I'm worried about doing it this way instead of getting all these colors on here at once is that you want your base coat to be even. And so I am worried that because I'm not covering my whole nail, I'm only covering where I'm going to sprinkle the powder at. I am worried that my layers won't be even, but I'll have to take care of that with my drill probably before I even do the encapsulating part. And I'm going to tell you guys, um, if you get any of your base coat onto your nail, I would suggest taking something and brushing it off. So I'm going to take this Q-tip right here. I do have an extra one. And I'm going to just try and get this off because you know that all the products bond together. And if it bonds to anything that's on the side of your finger, which was the whole point of putting the Vaseline right to see if it would work. Um, you don't want to have that happen. Okay, so let's do our pink first. And I haven't used the pink yet, so I do have the spoon marked. Here it is right here. Okay, my advice, hold your finger over the jar as much as you can and have a paper towel underneath. And let's see what happens. Let's see if this works. I'm already kind of aware that it's not going to come out looking a lot like ombre but at least I'll have more than one color okay so if you see that it's wet there put powder I know that seems kind of obvious but while you're sprinkling it on you don't really think about it and because you kind of have to turn your finger to get the size of it some of the powder falls off but I would suggest putting some back on. So I think I'm going to like to do this better because I'll be able to tap as much of the color off as I need. And like I said, I think if it looks wet, then that means I need a little bit more. I mean, yes, I'm going to dust it off after I cure, but still, I don't want it patchy. And then if it doesn't come out completely ombre, then I just have a new style, a new design. And then I found that with this method, either way it goes, whether you do all your fingers all at once or not, um, I'm finding that it's easier for me to do just one whole hand. So like I said, I kind of wish, ooh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I kind of wish that I hadn't, um, that I hadn't put these nails on yet. So... Let me see. Okay, we're going to do pink and yellow here. On this one, we're going to start in with the blue. So let me move this out of the way. You especially want to move your powders out of the way when you get ready to dust off after you cure because then that kind of defeats the purpose of you trying not to get your um, powders on each other. Okay, so that's where let's see. Blue, pink, yellow. Yeah, okay. And then that one's going to be blue and pink. Okay, so I have to do blue in these two fingers. I'm just going to kind of talk myself through this and since this is my first time. And normally what I've been doing, I got way too much on my finger. Because the Vaseline's there, I know it's going to stick, but that's okay. Because like I said, I'm hoping that it washes off. I'm really, really hoping that it doesn't actually make it stay on. And if it does, then I'll know that you can use Vaseline instead of the base coat. Okay, it's falling off my finger some. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do three layers of color on here. I did get some of the blue down there. And it is wanting to stick. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing because this middle finger is supposed to have three colors, you guys. Uh-oh, right? Okay, I'm going to stop tapping on that one. I'm just going to have to brush off. And I did miss a spot over here, so 
either that or it fell off. All right, no more tapping on that finger. So let's see, let's see what happens. Um, the hearts, I know you guys couldn't tell. You'll see it at the end of my video. They are hollow in the middle. So what I'm hoping is that when my nails glow in, you know, sunlight, the light from a light bulb, your lamp, all that stuff will activate your powder to make it glow. And what I used first on my first dip video that I did, it was the first time, I, like I said, I had done dip this the second time. I used G14 and G14 is a really pretty light purple and it glows like all different colors, um, not different colors, but different shades of purple. And I promise you guys, my washer or dryer was not making any noise until I started this video again. Okay, so I'm going to have to go open that door or else it's going to do that. Okay, and it's probably going to do it before I cure it. So I'm going to pause and be right back. And I'm going to walk around my house and check and see if I have anything else that's going to make noise. Okay, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so hopefully that's it. I just opened the door so it shouldn't be chiming, beeping, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think I'm going to, like I said, do the flash cure for 10 seconds. And I believe I stopped with 60, so I have to push. Um, let's see here. This first button here. Or else it's going to cure for 60 instead of 10. And you probably will have a good amount of powder like inside your lamp as well. But that just wipes off. Ooh, I can't wait to show you guys what colors they glow. Hopefully we'll be able to see that today. Okay, so here's my blue brush. Ooh, let me move the yellow spoon. I'm just going to put that way over there. And then I'll just this. You know what, you guys? I think the Vaseline is helping. Maybe I'll put some more on. Let me get that off the tip. Oh, that's pretty cool, you guys. I'm going to show you guys in a second. But I have to get my pink brush or I should say the brush I'm going to use to dust off the pink powder this is my first time using this brush these are so pretty they come like three in a pack from Amazon okay the Vaseline is it's definitely helping oh wow let me show you guys what we got going so far here okay so because I did not paint base coat on the other part of my nail Here's going to see, and I have to step around here to see what you guys can see, or else it's going to get really blurry. Okay, so I think I like me doing it this way better. That way I can be sure um, that I'm not tapping the colors off into the other colors. Okay, so I have an idea, you guys. I don't think I'm going to need three coats of powder, but I'm really um, consistent. So it's going to kind of bother me. I should at least do two. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, where's the base? Here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and do um, the second layer and see if I want a third. I was going to just do one whole layer of ombre with you guys and then do the rest off camera and then come back but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of all the first layers and then having the color on here helps because now I can see where to paint the base coat so this actually turned out to not be such a bad idea and what I like is it doesn't seem to matter so far from what I can tell that I am using different colors. My base coat is actually holding up pretty well of not turning the color of that powder. Okay.
And I think it would be easier if I just don't pause in this part. So bear with me, you guys. Like I said, to be honest with you, doing this the second time, it feels like it's the first. I'm not going to honestly tell you guys like the amount of patience this takes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we'll go pink first and then our blues. Move this back over here. And then also uh, just a word of advice. Kind of just pay attention to your dark. If you're going to move it off your paper towel and not just cover your whole towel with paper towels, which probably would have been easier. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But um. Make sure you take your brush and that you dust off your jar. Because if not, you'll pick it up and you'll forget that there is powder on the jar itself, on the sides, and it gets messy. Okay, so I'm going to take my own advice here and sprinkle a little bit more on. I'm not going to lie, you guys, down by the cuticle part is the hardest part. Because you don't know what's going to stay. Like, you think, I don't have base coat on my fingers, so you're thinking, oh, it shouldn't stay. And then surprise, surprise. So we'll see what we come up with. Well, that's pretty even. Let me stop tapping. Okay. Let's get the blue going here. Okay, there. And then I do want to say that um, if you're just starting off like me, I really hope that everything is going good with you for your nails because I know, trust me, like how frustrating it is and um, the amount of patience it takes. Oh my goodness. So I would say just try whatever works for you. I'll tell you guys, um, the monomer and powder technique was not working for me. The monomer was giving me major headaches and so I just couldn't, couldn't deal with it. And then, um, like I said in my other nail videos, my nails actually got infected about a month and a half after I started doing them. And um, it was where like the old powder was because I already had a, um, I just got some of the pink powder on the blue, backwards blue powder on the pink spoon. Oops. Um, but yeah, it wasn't where I put the not polished powders. So I had to take everything off and not do my nails for three and a half months. And that was really frustrating because, of course, within a month and a half, especially if you're using the monomer, um, unless you get really good at it really quickly, then you, if you're like me, you find yourself frustrated because you're still trying to learn that whole uh, ratio of monomer to powder. Okay, let's do for 10 seconds again. And eventually I am going to go ahead and cure my hand for uh, 30 seconds or even 60. But this is just to get this on here. All right, let's dust off. So we'll dust off. Oh, that's the pink brush. We'll dust off pink first. And I haven't added any more Vaseline. I know I said that I would, but I, I kind of forgot. So bear with me here. All right, so let's get the blue off. I'm going to tell you, the more powder you have in your fingers, for me personally, I'll have to say, the more... I'm over here panicking like, oh my gosh. 
And then after this, what you do is you take your drill and you kind of clean up around the cuticle area to, um, how do you say that, to um, enclose it, kind of help enclose it. And then you just go over a little bit and smooth it over. And what you're hoping is that you don't have to do a lot of shaping. Okay, so now this one's gonna have yellow at the tip and this one's gonna have pink in the middle and pink over here. Okay, so these two nails, we're gonna be not done, but at least with the first layer. And I have to remind myself to do at least two layers of each color, right? Okay, so not quite sure how I want this to fall on the pink. I'm gonna try and go kind of thin where the color is and thicker where it isn't. What I'm also finding in trying this, you guys, is that um, I don't know if I'm not gluing the nails enough to the tip or if I'm not putting enough base coat, but from the middle of my finger down to the tip of my finger, when my nails start to grow out, it feels like it's gonna break in half from that point. So that's also why I started putting, or I got the idea, I should say, to put um, three layers of color and then possibly encapsulating with two layers of clear on top instead of um, instead of one. And I'm panicking a little bit right now because that that's okay. I'm going to do a third layer of the first colors. I might do that one off camera and then come back. But let's get down the first two layers of these next colors. And I'm trying to paint this as even as I can and then I'm overlapping. Okay, this one's going to be all pink on the tip. So this is also the longest that I've had them doing them myself. So like I said, this video is just a lot of first today. All right, let's get these colors on here. Yellow first. So let me move this out of the way because I will knock that over. Here's my yellow spoon. I definitely want to keep that away from the blue or else it's going to be green, right? Okay, here we go. And if you stir up your powders, um, just be careful because what I'm finding is that I stirred it too much and it knocked off into the paper towel. So part of this mess was from me stirring one of these colors. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the yellow one because I haven't used the pink until now. But yeah, you're going to notice. Make sure you get base coat on the side because if you don't, oh my gosh. It doesn't seem like that's a lot to have to fix, but it is. Yeah, and you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm actually going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this and not overlap the pink. I should have done three layers of colors from the beginning. I can tell you that from experience right now. Let's tap this off and see what we got here. Okay, yeah, I tapped too much, so I see orange. All right, so let's take some more of that back on here. I'm gonna try to do the sides first. That way I can just hold my finger flat. Because the whole point is to try and sprinkle it on as even as you can. Ooh. Over here it's lacking some, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'll probably be able to get more of it on the second one. At least I'll be able to see where the powder is and where it isn't. Okay, so let's move the yellow out of the way. And then the next color is supposed to be pink. 
Let me remove the uh, brush for the blue. I have like everything up here on this counter, you guys. Okay, so that's why this is gonna be pink. Where's my, oh, here we go. Okay, let's find out if, because some of the blue somehow got on this, if this is gonna be purple or what color it will turn. Hopefully it won't. Oh yes, it did. That's not good. Okay, um, let me pour that off. Yeah, it did. It made that part of my powder purple and it's pink. Okay. What I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to try and get my spoon and scoop it where it is. I think I only have pink on here now. Um, I didn't wanna rinse these off in water, but now we see what happens if we're like too close with all the colors. So now I'm gonna have to try and get this out of here. And of course, some of it's gonna fall back in. So, um, and like I said, that came just from me just having my spoon too close. Okay. And that's exactly, like I said, that's exactly why I want to sprinkle the colors on separate. Okay, I'm gonna tap off over here. And you know what? I might actually be able well, I don't know about that. I was going to say to do all the colors all at once because I was supposed to do my whole hand and then cure for 60 seconds. So let's see what happens. Let's see if this pink gets on here thick enough. Okay. And I'm going to tap some of this just for it to look even. Ooh. That's missing some over here. It must have fallen off when I turned my finger sideways. Okay. And then the whole tip over here is supposed to be pink. So let's go ahead and sprinkle that on. And I think the good thing about the base coat is that it's thick. So it doesn't dry out fast. And I would say if you look at it and it looks like it dried out the base coat, of course, paint some before you sprinkle your powder on the first time for whatever color you're on. And I am finding that you want to get a little close to your nail, but the problem with that is, is that you accidentally hit it sometimes. So it's just a learning process for me right now, honestly. I'm very curious to see what this is going to look like when I tap off this powder. Well, actually, after I cure it. Okay. Oop. I hit the tip. Okay, I'll just shake that a little bit. All right, so let me move this spoon way over here to this pink cap. And I'm gonna move this powder over here. Move those. And I think I was doing, what, a 10 second cure? When I get to the last color for the middle finger, I'm gonna do a 30 second cure. And I might actually go ahead and layer up. Because remember I said I wanted to do the, um, yeah, this is pink brush, right? All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, but remember I said I wanted to do the, uh, now I can't think. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to need, obviously, a second layer. I'm only my first, oh, I said third layer. I want to do a third layer of color. So I'm trying to brush away from the other color. Okay, so let me get my spoon over here to this. Oh, I didn't brush off the yellow. Where's my, oh, that's right. I need to keep this brush close by. I got a little bit of it on the pink. Trying to get that off. I didn't mean to do that. 
And I don't know, honestly, what brush to use. So I'm going to get the yellow one. Let's see here. What happens when you brush back towards me? Okay, a little bit of it came off. I guess I'm doing okay for my first time. Okay, so let me go ahead and do... Let's do the second layer on camera. And then I'm going to do the third layer of all the colors and then I'll come back. Okay, but we're gonna first do the tip so I can at least show you guys like what I came up with. So we're doing the, let me adjust this a little bit more. Um. Oh wow, I still have to do the tip here. All right, we'll do that. There's the third color, like I said. So let's get the yellow on here. Okay, so yeah, I was hoping that the um that the one am I trying to say I'm thinking here for a second. That by the time I got to a tip it would be easier and I think it is. Okay. Oh wow. Surprise, surprise. The things you can do if you practice, right? Mm, I'm missing some down towards the tip. I was hoping to not have to do uh, that much filing, it's shaping, or especially like towards the tip of my nail, but I'm getting pretty good at making them even, you know, going across the tip. Okay, so let's flash here for 10 seconds for that. And then I'll go ahead and brush off and I'm gonna show you guys what does it look like, okay? Because on my ombre, let's move that out of the way. Make sure I've learned from my mistakes, right? Move everything I don't want to get stuff on. Let me see. Dust that off. Okay, so yeah, we're only on, I believe it is the first layer of the last colors, right? And then I still have to do another layer of the two colors here, the two colors here on this one finger. And then I want to do three layers overall. So I'm going to do all that off the camera, but I want to show you guys what it looks like so far. Now, keep in mind, you are going to see the finished product. Um, maybe of both my hands. We'll see. Okay. Because I haven't even done this and I at least probably should put clear powder. I got yellow stuff in there. Maybe my swipe will get that off. Okay. So let's take a look. What does it look like so far? Remember, there are two layers of pink and blue here on the cuticle part. And then, of course, the other colors you see. Are just one layer okay but let's take a look at so far let's see okay so I'm pretty happy with the shape so far um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of it on I might possibly go ahead smooth over try and go around the cuticles and stuff like that with all of the colors because my sprinkle on the clear powder my other thing I want to see is if I do that first and don't drill off too much, or if I use my buffer, my buffer is actually over there, the hand buffer, um, will I be able to just go ahead and top coat my clear powder, okay, without me having to go back around my cuticle and um, try and seal it up and, you know, smooth out the colors and stuff like that, okay, so I might do a lot of stuff right now before I come back, now that I think about it, but I'll see you guys, I would say for you guys in seconds, but for me, there's no telling how long it's going to take, but I will be back, all right, you guys. Okay, you guys, I am back hours later and I finished one hand. Um, I did not even start on my right hand, but I want to be able to take my time. Um, I think the flash curing for the 10 seconds between each color until I get to like the third color is actually working. It makes it go faster. 
Um, okay, so actually I was going to put this down. I don't know why I forgot that, <laughs> that fast that I'm uh, recording again. So I want to tell you guys, the Vaseline really helped, um, especially when I realized that I learned how to take my drill and use my safety bit. Um, it's over here. Let's see. I don't know if I want to show us how it's still on, but I have it paused. So let me go ahead and pause it. And now I can go ahead and take this off. Uh-oh. Okay. So this is the drill bit. And this is, mine is touch, so I have to be careful with it. Okay, so that's the one that I've used. I didn't use anything else. Let me put this back over here and show you guys my nails. Okay, so um, here they are. Okay, so you guys, I'm really proud of myself. Um, while I was doing this hand, uh, this nail popped off, so hopefully it will stay stuck on or I'm gonna have to take it off and put a whole new nail. Um, I'm not kind of liking how that's looking, but I'm gonna cover all that up anyway. But I've decided to use these little happy faces here in combination with the pink heart. I really wish that these emojis were brighter I don't know if you guys can see these. I'm going to have to get really close. I know I've showed you guys these before. Okay, so they're super cute. And um, I actually bought them when I was uh, in another country, actually. Okay, so I am trying to decide. Remember, the other thing that I'm trying is encapsulating these little, I don't know what you want to call them, decorations underneath the clear powder, okay? And I'm kind of iffy about it, but let's go ahead and get this um, Vaseline on here. And I'm not even sure why I put that on that finger there. Oh, that's right, the top coat. I don't want the top coat to get stuck on my nail, so or my finger, I mean. So let me go ahead and get this um, Vaseline around here. And um, like I said, with that drill bit, before I forget, it helped a lot because for my drill, if I'm on one, which is a thousand RPMs, then I can actually run my drill bit over my finger without cutting my finger. And so a combination of the Vaseline and doing that actually like really helped. One thing I did forget right now was a swipe, so I'm going to use the swipe from Young Nails to get all the dust off. Okay, and then I'm going to put hearts and emojis on the two solid fingers. Um, oh, I do have one here. I thought I used it all. Okay, so I'm using this, like I said, it's from Young Nails, and they recommend that you use this even on your nail after you do the smoothing and stuff like that. I know it's gonna make the surface wet, but that's okay. Cause what you're trying to do is you're trying to wipe off all the dust and I kind of wish I had put the Vaseline on afterwards. I don't know what I was thinking. And then the the method that I use of not putting on all the colors all at once and then curing my hands for 60 seconds, that really helped me because I'm going to tell you that powder fell everywhere and um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but I did have to take a little bit out with the spoon. Okay, so um, I have my Glossit from Not Polish. Everything I use is Not Polish, just about. Um, and then I also have my cuticle oil there. And I told you guys, this is called um, Juicy Peach. And it smells so good. I got that from Walmart. Okay, so here we go. Normally, I would have my, um, I think it's called McCart Rhinestone Glue. But since I'm going to go ahead 
and do one more encapsulating layer of clear powder. I'm gonna see what happens if I use the base coat to try and see if these will stick on here. Um, some of you might be like, no, don't do that. Um, go ahead and use the rhinestone glue, but I'm curious. Base coat is really sticky, so let's see what happens. I've never done this before either. And I'm gonna paint it on as evenly as I can because I'm still gonna sprinkle that clear powder on there and then let it cure. So um, I'm debating. I kind of picked where I wanted it. Well, you know what? I have to put the clear powder on there anyway, right? So let me do the whole nail. And I, oh my gosh, you guys. Even when I get down to the, um, the top coat part, I get really, really nervous. That's like make it or break it time for me. I don't know if I cure too many times for too long. I was doing 90 seconds and then 30. Some of you are probably going to comment and say, oh no, just only do like 60 seconds. But I was telling you guys um, in my other nail videos that later on, then it, I don't care how much I've gotten good at shaping, which I would say this time I surprised myself. But um, that top coat always gets me, you guys once it's finished and I won't even know like I'll be doing something else and usually I wait uh oh I dropped him let's see until I do anything like wash dishes or something like that I try to make sure that I'm not doing laundry or anything else okay so uh oh it looks like the rhinestone glue is gonna have to come out you guys because I need this to go flat let me try using the end of this. Yeah, if I put clear powder over this, you guys, oh my gosh, this is not gonna stick. Okay, so now we know base coat, not a good idea. Unless it's just me and lacking of skill. Um, I don't wanna touch that because I was planning on sprinkling powder over that, you guys, but I'm gonna have to pull out my glue. Um, I don't know how that's going to work because I just did the base and then if I, you know what, let me take them off. I just realized I can't get that underneath there. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my little happy face off here, my little emoji. That's a good idea. Um, I'm thinking flash cure. Let's do that. Just for 10 seconds, just to kind of, I mean, I might as well. And then let me think, where is my glue? And I also have to check, I think I hear a vehicle. Okay, so give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I was right. Um, as you guys know, we have uh, a big rig and um, my husband just pulled back up with it. Okay, so I have this base coat in here. I don't know how this is gonna look now because all the rest of them are nice and almost like a matte finish and this one has a base coat and it didn't stick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, great. I know I was running out of time, but, okay, I thought that was hair, that's actually, some of the glue, this glue is so sticky. And I'm trying to put it on there flat. So this one might not look as nice as my other nails, but we'll see. I think the fact that I put that base coat in there, you guys, is kind of helping some. All right, let me stick that back in there. Okay, so let's try this. Yeah, I really should have waited to put these nails on here. And this is one to try and fall out. I really don't want that to stick on next to something. So let's see. Hope that it doesn't get stuck to itself. All right, let's try this again. Oh, it's going to fall.
I am so happy that I went ahead and just did one hand all the way. And I had no choice. I had to do them today. Okay, well, that's not the way I want him turned, but I don't really have a choice. Okay, let me try this. I'm trying to flatten him down. Usually my nails are a little bit more rounded than this, but that was when I was going to the shop. And I think I like the fact that I don't really know how to do that, that I can actually make them flat. Okay, so this might actually work and I do have to cure this glue. Um, I don't really want the heart turned like that. I'm rushing now, but my mind is like somewhere else. Oh, that's a cute spot. And I opened up my heart to you guys. Oh my gosh. And um, some of them like flew out. I'm trying to see one side is shiny, one side isn't. Really? Where, where did it go, you guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, look, there's one right here in the spoon. It literally just popped somewhere. Okay, I laid that on the not flat side. And he just closed the garage door. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just told him I was recording. Okay, so hold on for a second, you guys. Okay, so I couldn't catch him, but you guys, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what he thinks sometimes. I'm like, my phone can hear everything. So um, you guys are just going to hear some random noises that I have like no control over. Because I did tell him I was recording and I know he didn't forget. So please excuse the noises. And this glue... It's really something, you guys. I'm trying to get this heart to turn over because I want it on the shiny side. If I keep it on the not shiny side, it's going to be the same color as one of my other hearts that I have that is shiny, but it's a lighter pink. And I don't want the lighter pink. Okay, so now I know base coat doesn't work, at least not when I try to do it. All right, so I'm going to flash cure this for... Um, 10 seconds and I would like to put more but I don't know because maybe I don't know what you guys think I know you guys can see that maybe a blue emoji I know I have some you know what I do want a blue emoji might as well I know I'm pressed for time but once I put this up on here, it is on there, right? So i got to get it looking how I want it. Now, like I said, I do wish these emojis were brighter. And then, you guys, when I went outside, okay, so it was really, really pretty. Of course, the light made them glow. Let's see. I don't know if I want the blue emoji on here. No, I don't like it. It's not bright enough. Okay, so I want to put yellow hearts on the other one. Let me get this emoji back in this packet. Okay, and um, I'll be right back too. I got to do something real quick. Okay, so don't know why, but he decided to open the garage door again. And he's like, you can hear that in there? I'm like, yes. You can, that's loud. I was thinking about an orange one, but that would really throw everything off. I do have a blue heart. The problem with the blue heart, you guys, is that it's not, it's not bright enough. And the one that's like a multicolor, like that chrome seven color or whatever, that's not really bright enough. Um, I was debating on a blue heart simply because of the color. Not of the powder, but you guys will see in a second. I'm going to actually, my 
surprisingly, my lamp is holding up pretty well. Okay, this is really light. No. All right, I'm going to leave it how it is because I don't like that either. And let's do the pinky real quick. Now the hearts don't want to go back in. They're stuck to the, the tweezers. Yeah, I have all these other bright colors, but yeah. I would toss like an orange one on there just to be fun. But I'm thinking we'll kind of throw it off some. But maybe, maybe it wouldn't. No, I have a red emoji. Oh, I have a yellow one with this tongue sticking out. I'm going to use that one. with the bright yellow hearts. Let me get them. I forgot about them. Wow. I'm gonna have to say you guys, I'm impressing myself. The precision, oh my goodness. Out of all the emojis, there's like a hundred emojis in there or more. Okay, so let's do this. Um, Random place, let's see. Now we're going to see what happens, how it looks with me painting on the glue and not having that base coat on there. And I'm kind of somewhat regretting that. Usually I put a top coat first, but I also usually paint. Oh, wow. I did not like that. Let me see. Okay. I'm pretty much covering my entire nail with this glue, hoping that the base coat kind of helps with what I just did. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when I'm in a hurry, you guys. I end up, I get right towards it and I get so close. And I don't know why I sat that there. I'm going to have to move that. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll dry clear because it is clear glue. I want them right here. And then... Let's move this glue out of the way here. Usually I put the top back on, but I've had that glue for a while and it just, it never dries out. Um, I think like I said, the company is McCart. I couldn't even say it at first. Oh wow, no, I cannot let that stay there. Okay. Hopefully the brush will stop falling. You guys are probably wondering like what's happening off the camera. The, the brush of the glue keeps falling everywhere. Okay, and just like last time when I opened up my um, hearts, they popped out. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Let's see what side this is. These things are really flimsy. They're bending as I'm trying to pick them up. Okay, the yellow one's a little harder to tell. Oh, nope. Let me flip it back over. That's the shiny side and it's it's stuck on there. I'm trying to see if I can get it on my finger. And I believe if I turn this over and the the glue brush fell again. I'm I'm through. I'm like too through right now. And I have to pick it up because it's so sticky. Even though I'm not putting on anything I'm going to cure, it'll still dry at some point. And I'll be like, what's the sticky stuff on my brush packet? Okay. And now the hearts kind of look green because the powder is blue, but that's okay. Let me take the end of this. And I think this is the glue that I was using that once it dries, you can kind of roll it off. It's kind of like Gorilla Glue somewhat. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this just in case. Even though the base is clear and even though the um, clear powder is clear, just in case it makes it towards hard to see.
Okay, so now let's base coat, clear coat. I'm gonna put this top back on whether I like it or not. Might as well do that now before we do because we gotta go run an errand and um, I'm gonna have to run my errand with this hand not done at all. Um, I have a little, let's see. Oh, great. There's a little paper that's on there. That's what I like about it too. I don't know if I can see this. That got stuck over there. I needed to stay on the uh, top so I can rub this glue off. And I think I'm gonna stop putting the little plastic piece over it and just put it back in a little plastic bag. I think that's a little easier dealing with this. But like I said, the good thing is that they're rhinestone glue. I got it from Amazon, it's really good. And um, I can only imagine how long I could accidentally leave the top off before. Okay, so like I said, I might regret this, but I do have Vaseline on. And I really don't want to cake this base coat on here like this, but I really need for this to say, and I have a feeling, yes, a feeling that that is still going to um, stick up the edges. That's what I'm talking about. You guys can't see it, but the emoji edges are not wanting to lay flat. But at least now I know that my plan will only partially work so I can try something else different and then to share my experience with you guys. I may or may not record it. And the good thing about the clear powder when you put it on, you get this really pretty layer of just flat, even. And so I'm not even too worried about the fact of if it were to get on my fingers because it'll just dust right off. But like I said, you guys, the Vaseline definitely, it really helps, especially if you know how to run your drill over your finger without, um, without cutting yourself. And then what I did do, okay, so I forgot to tell you guys. Also, what I did do was I went ahead and put a clear coat over. Okay, so I know that I said that I was only gonna do that on the uh, ombre nails but I went ahead and did it to the solid colors as well. So there's already a clear top coat on this. I should have mentioned that. I'm glad I didn't forget. Yeah, I know the emojis. Mm -mm, the top coat might have to take care of it. All right, so I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. I would like to do 60, but I don't think I have time. I'm gonna move this out of the way, but the good thing is if I brush off, it's just clear. Okay, so I think it's set to, what was it, 10, 30? You know what? Oh no, mm -mm. I'll go ahead and do 30 seconds because I still have to top coat it. And then we're going to go in the lamp for 10 seconds so I can see if I can get it to glow. Okay, so that G14 that I used last time, that light, light, light purple from that polish, like I said, it glows different. Um, brightnesses or I guess you could say shades of purple like it's really cool and um, you don't have to be outside in the sun for very long or have your hands next to light very long the sun really works well with these not polished glow powders and so um I really really liked that oh wow okay it is glowing so let me get my regular brush dust that off I love the top coat of the clear powder. All right, 
let's top coat all of this. I know usually you top coat twice, but I think that's only like if you're gonna paint, right? And I'm not gonna paint, but I really wanna see. They're in there. All right, let's see you guys. Let me close up this base. I guess that's the downside of having to record in airplane mode so that the recording can't be interrupted is not knowing if you get any messages or anything. For some, for some reason, this top is sticky. Okay, so this is my clear coat. And I will flash care, or not flash care, I will care for, for 60 seconds because none of the nails have this on here. And I do honestly wish that this wasn't as thick. But right now, that might work to my advantage. Because the edge of the emoji face is sticking up. And I need it to lay down. And I'm really hoping that the Vaseline helps with by the cuticle part because I'm going to tell you guys that is the cleanest I've ever had that area and what I mean is like not having um how would you say not having product on my finger Okay, so for some reason, down here is not being my friend. That means that that wasn't even. I know some people file after they clear top coat. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I hate when I see that the nail polish shop does that. When they come with that clear coat, you guys, I look at them and I'm like, uh, no, 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 what are you doing? Even though they're professionals and they know what they're doing, I always get worried that they're going to rub too hard with the file. And um, take some of the top coat off. And the top coat's really important. I also bought a matte coat, so I may do a video or a short, maybe, I don't know. Of the matte coat. I really hope that doesn't dry like that. I, I do see why they do that. I gotta get someone there. There's a part why I missed it. And then also, I don't think my eyes are getting better. Um, I keep having to turn my finger because I'm not used to having my nails this long. Yeah, I think next time I want to do a matte top coat. The matte was pretty. to say the fact that it looked like it's matte. I don't like it shiny. Uh-oh. Well, maybe I'll like it if it when it starts glowing. But this um it's like this gloss coat gets thicker and thicker every time I use it. I don't know. Watch when my nails pop off. I guess it's good that it's not with all the stuff on it though. I don't even know if shaking that helps. I was thinking about switching to a regular top coat because the gloss coat really is too thick and it's really really frustrating to paint on Okay, so 
I think I needed to shake it. And I know this nail is going to have a, a pretty thick coat. Let me see. Maybe I can get the excess off of this nail. I am really trying to be careful about my cuticle area. That's all I would need is for this to get on here and to bond together and then to lift later. That was the other reason why I wanted to try the Vaseline method, just to try and help with that. Okay, that's not too bad. Let me see. I think I'm gonna regret going back over this one with this brush, but it's not even. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my eyes are tired, so I am kinda happy I'm getting a little break real quick. Okay, so I guess the secret is shake this up. I'm gonna have to shake it one more time, you guys. It's, it's getting thicker again. And believe me, if you've never used Not Polished Gloss It, the top coat, um, it's thick enough as it is. So let's say I did all of them, right? Mm, that looks like that because I did that base coat underneath. All right. I am really, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, this is a lot better than what I've, I've been doing. Normally I cure, like I said, for 90 seconds and then I do 30 and that's probably too much. So um, 60 seconds makes me really nervous to do. And I was thinking maybe do 60 seconds. And then I saw on a video where somebody cured their nails and then they set tap on them and supposedly that's the way you test to see if it's completely cure. It's supposed to make a tap noise. Like um, if you tap your nail like on this countertop or something like that. So I don't know how um, true that is. But I know I was thinking that when it comes out, it should not be soft, right? And so that's why I always tell myself, oh, cure it again, which is really probably not a good idea. But I was thinking if it's soft like that, I was thinking maybe it's not cured all the way because it's supposed to be solid. So um, we'll see. We'll see after the 60 seconds. And I do want to turn off the light because I think it's not going to glow as well. Let me see. I wish I could show you guys the inside. The yellow is really pretty. It's a bright yellow glow. Okay, so I don't know how many seconds that is. But let me see. No. Okay, let me show you the finished product. It won't, it won't do it, you guys. All right, so I have one last idea. Okay, so I had to go into my room. But this is just to give you guys an idea. So I know this is not like my other video where it glowed in the light. Okay, so here's inside my lamp. All right, there we go. You guys know I try for you. So yeah, I want to show you guys how bright 
the colors actually glow and I couldn't quite capture it. I went outside, it came back in and I thought, no, put it back in your lamp. And then this is probably the best I can show you guys. So it's really, really pretty and it doesn't take a lot of light. All right, you guys. So I just wanted to go ahead and say uh, bye to you guys and have a great day. Stay safe. And I really hope you like this video. Um, I know some people say if you do like and subscribe, but it's left up to you. But yeah, I had to show you guys like this is pretty, but the glow is really nice. And then, like I said, maybe I'll try matte one time. And then also I'm thinking about trying the top coat and then putting matte over it to see if it will still mat uh, my nails so I don't know maybe I'll do that and if I do then I'll probably have to do a short just a quick video to show you guys that I decided to change to not have a shiny surface but I'm gonna get out of here because like I said I'm pressed for time as always so I will see you guys later and thank you guys for watching you guys uh, stay safe like I said and I hope you have a great rest of your day bye